And hello everyone, this is Dubious Physics coming to you from Horizon Zero Dawn. It's good to see you folks, hope you're doing well, or at least decently okay-ish today. It's time to get into it. Right, last I left off, I just finished exploring an area, or some of the area south of Meridian, not really thoroughly exploring it. Picked up a beautiful flower. Uh, speaking of beautiful flowers, welcome to the stream, Navillion. <laughs> it w w was that smooth enough? <laughs> I, okay, I will. Hi, Navillion. Good to see you. Welcome to the stream. All right. Well, with things packed up around here, it's time to go. Um, I'm gonna. Go ahead and set that golden fast travel. Oh, I used up the fox skin for it. Dang it. Okay, I need to try and find another fox skin before I go. I'm sure this is going to devolve into me getting stuck in this area much longer, but... Okay, I'm gonna start heading north. Uh... Is that an uncleared bandit camp? I think it might be. I'll tag that along the way if I if I run into it and, and just I'll, I'll keep traveling on foot until I find a fox skin or it becomes unfeasible. I must have used up the fox skin in I think crafting the uh, increased uh, uh, upgrade storage. What have we got here? Two fire bellabacks. Some of them have taken a bit of damage. I don't know what they take damage from. But I've noticed it, I think, with bellabacks in particular. That'll help. I don't have any cold damage output, unfortunately. I'm gonna need a lot more precision arrows if I'm gonna take these on effectively. Fortunately, I picked up a bit more Ridgewood. Uh, do I want to use up that many Tear Blast arrows? Maybe. I need to be closer to use that. Wait, is that a... not a... okay, that wasn't a shock back. Oh well. I'll set up what I can. I'm only really concerned about the uh, armor near the armor around the cargo sack, right? And that armor doesn't really come off that easy. Uh, so I'm, I'm just gonna open with the precision arrow. Go! <laughs> Placement arrows. Almost compulsively picked up the shock wire. There we go. That cargo sack removed. This 
flower isn't actually that useful because it's not going to close distance that much anyway. Dang. On armor. Okay, it's hard to hit the cargo sack from the back. Any other vulnerable points I could become familiar with? Well, I think that was an, just an eye hit, which works. Okay, I can't easily set it on fire. I was hoping to get a burning kill, but then I remember they're basically immune to externally applied fire. <laughs> well, that went okay. All things considered. Pretty sure I scared all the wildlife out of the area. Oh, a fox. What do you know? Oh, there were some bandits here, that's why the uh, by Balabax had taken some damage. nearby. Let's keep an eye on them. Some extra medicine. These will keep. Something's loading. Okay, that's another corpse to check. Keep heading north, so that's the wrong, the wrong way. Yeah, back up towards the charger site. Maybe I can pick up the trail of that fox again. The most elusive and challenging of enemies. After the turkey. I don't have a great track record of successfully hitting turkeys. Is that a downed... Wait, was that me? Was I... Oh... Oh yeah, okay. This is the other... I think this is the other... <laughs> back I took... I just backtracked through my own, uh... Through my own... Work and just went... Wait, who took these bellows next? <laughs> There you are. That is a fox. <laughs> Sorry, fox. Okay, that's a, that's a, the turkey was not oblivious and immediately left. <laughs> that cute avilliard. Ooh, a boar skin. That might come in handy, but are not common. Continuing my stealthy approach. Not because I'm concerned about being spotted by machines, because I'm concerned about being spotted by foxes. Mysterious and elusive creatures that they are. And unfortunately I don't have enough spear damage or slash stealth damage. I'm not sure if those are two are mechanically integrated 
uh, in this game to one hit charges from stealth, so. Go for the blaze canisters instead then. I think that was a miss. I think that just whiffed almost entirely. Try that again. I can still get the upper hand. Stuff with your blaze canisters intact, I need shots. Ah, screw it, I'll just set you on fire. Burn. I'm really starting to appreciate fire arrows a lot more. Looking good. For a moment, Navili and I read that as a I wish I was a fox in real life. Uh I'm just gonna go, hmm, may maybe maybe you you, you shouldn't be for a moment while well, I need this fox skin, and then I remember that this game is not real life. A, a fox could probably easily 1v1 me IRL. So there is that. Wait, that's... that's a... F that's a... come back here, fox! <laughs> I am in pursuit! I am in very poorly executed pursuit. Okay, thank you, Fox. I will make good use of your meat. I'll tuck that away. Boars are good sources of meat, but that one's already seen me and is on the move, so we'll leave him be. Okay, what if... I put down a blast trap behind me for safety. Okay, what if I opened with a stealth pit? and then immediately followed up. Oh no, that was a... Huh. How come I wasn't able to stealth hit charges before? Does the angle you hit them from matter? Do I scale damage with level? That's odd. Maybe I screwed up my... my that, that one time I wasn't able to stealth hit a charger. That's also a possibility. Yeah, it must be the angle! That's the only thing I can think of for it, it must be the angle. It's like, hitting stealth, stealth strike isn't, must, isn't set damage, or even a set damage multiplier. It, it, the angle you hit the stealth strike at must matter. That's really interesting. Maybe only really interesting to me, but that's really interesting! No, no, no. Okay, I need you. You know what? Let me approach in the bushes. I need you to turn around. This won't go 
Uh, never mind. <laughs> I evidently was far too close. hits at least. Even if I screwed up everything else. Okay, so I make no sure I'm not screwed over by... I, that might have been... I'd have to check later maybe. Uh, not that I'm probably not going to echo through all the footage and check, but... I, I Maybe I maybe it was the elevation thing, because... Uh, some, some of these bushes, like actually right here, I think it demonstrates. Some of these bushes aren't correctly... Uh, when even though the bush visually goes through multiple elevations, like on a, on a slope, I suppose I could check here as well. Um, sometimes you can be in the bush and out of concealment because the elevation of the elevation changes. Um, it might have been that, or it could just be a, a matter of I was too close when it got suspicious uh, on at me throwing the rock. Oh, hello, got uh, grazers. I'm, I'm just going to ignite those canisters. And what is that? Is that a grazer? It could be something a lot more dangerous than a grazer. Yeah, it could be an avillion. At the moment, it seems like a... My, my initial impression uh, is that uh, a, uh, a stealth... Stealth attack from behind does more damage, at least a little more than one from in front. So, my tried and true tactic of convincing something to walk towards me, not see me, and then just stabbing it in the face may not be the most effective in the long run. The test. But tougher enemies. This somewhat this is somewhat entertaining prospect to me, although perhaps very obvious. Um, to anyone not buried in video game logic. Oh, hello. Is that a? Uh, I see hostile bandits. Maybe they are. From, maybe they're from the nearby camp. Interesting. Well, I see a health bar. That's going to attract my attention one way or the other. How they noticed that? I guess I wasn't in concealment, but come on. That guy was behind you and none of you were looking this way. I'm getting slightly better at that. Oh, so that's where the, graves, the last grazer went. Right, these are the people who prowl around that particular campfire and make it painful. I think the uh, the other side of the campfire happens to be covered in stalkers, if memory serves. I do wonder if I shouldn't consider swapping out my Tripcaster. The Tripcaster, I think, is the one. Like, I, I, like my Ropecaster is my kind of is my panic backup. Tripcaster is something that it the stuff my Tripcaster does I can also accomplish, albeit less effectively, with traps. And it, if it's it's from out of my kit, it's probably the one element less use that I could potentially, I, I could consider using to, swapping out to experiment with new weaponry. 
because I'd like to try out the various weapons the in the game. You know, like the game hasn't been terribly uh, aggressive about about pushing me to try out new weapons. So consequently, me being me, I really haven't tried out new weapons. So. But I know I'm I'm definitely missing out on chill damage and corruption damage. I think those are the two two damage types not in my arsenal that I've not had a chance that I I have on occasion missed like a, and I forgot I was hunting foxes. And what do you know, the thing that spotted me was a fox. The craftiest of the animal kingdom. Truly bearers of unsurpassed wisdom. When the loud, oblivious human approaches, walk quietly in the other direction, and the end you'll be fine. Did to be clear, I, I Aloy is real sharp. I'm the oblivious human. Why am I aiming a fire arrow? Oh, wrong weapon switch. Okay, there we go. Use the more cost-effective arrows for our hunting work, except for boars, which have a lot more health. Now don't worry, Navillion. I'm sharp, loud, and oblivious. All in one. Okay, that audio cue tells me this is probably stalker territory. And that fox is probably luring me to my doom, but... Fox. That's more... That's okay. That's freaking sawtooth territory. Blind shot. Oh, I made it. Nice. Okay, sawtooth are vulnerable to fire. Blaze canister tucked in underneath them, which is really hard to get at from experience. And engaging two of them at once is a recipe for disaster if I'm not very well prepared. So. Oh, that's gonna hit the tripwire. Oh, let's get on with it. Thought it wasn't concealed for a moment. Higher health one over here, please. Wait, are you investigating? Yes. Okay, don't interrupt me, please. This is very important. I guess this is a nice side effect of taking off some of their armor. Now, we're friends. Dang it, I was hoping to get the XP for that. Oh well. You 
Jeez, I forgot they did that. Probably serves me right a little bit, but okay, that helps. Yeah, that, that's something I something I learned very early on, um, and a lesson I keep forgetting. Another re uh, is that is a keep that for later. even the the, the widest uh, tripwire. A lot of enemies with leaping attacks that will just take them over if you kind of if you camp on the tripwire itself. Granted, it happens mostly with safety trip wires that I put now that I put down just as a contingency and then run back to. Oh! Apparently, our battle felled a nearby goose. I'm glad I didn't have to fight the goose myself, that would have been terrifying. Now, in all this commotion, I think the fox escaped. Ah, foxes. <laughs> foxes, foxes. Another fox! No, that was a raccoon. Okay. Less urgent of a target. but I'm used to it. It's a rabbit. That is an, uh, a discovered campfire. It's turkey. A boar. Again, boars are good sources of meat. If I can approach the boar stealthily, I can save some arrows. Hub. Looks good. Oh, are you? Oh, yes, you're friendly. Okay. Hi. Well fitted. Where did you get that kit? Wait, you're Nora. That's highly unusual to see Nora out here. Interesting. This a bandit camp I've cleared before. I don't think so. Watcher. Okay, geared for approach then. Isolated in a watchtower. It's probably braids will take forever to dry. Okay, that's an elite. Any foxes prowling? Yeah. Okay, it's a fox. Can 
they make it into stealth before the fox spots me. I don't think so. Did not have what I needed though. Just handed it off to someone else before coming here. Okay, I don't think anyone's watching this guy. Or girl. I do not think anyone is watching this guard. Headshot, I cannot one hit an elite at range, the best of my knowledge. Uh, these butchers are not terribly consistent. Okay, there are two people coming in here. Now, that better not be one of ours. These bushes. Of course. Wait. What was that? I'm going to check that out. Who went down? The elite, the elite can't see me from over there. Just need to get over the wall and drop down. Dang, I've made it difficult. There's more terrain in between. I'll drop down this side then. I need to be careful actually because I don't have silent drop. Technically, that was a loud action. Okay, that's their alarm system. I think I verified I can't destroy from range. <laughs> Yeah, that was a bit of an awkward drop. I'm just glad I didn't land any further to the left. Okay. Tag, tagged. I think most people are looking the other way. Could be wrong. Ah, 
Okay, they're either looking the other way or too distant. I've set up an alarm. Don't want them to use it. Because, well, I may have a really high stealth rating and be very hard to spot. The people I stab don't necessarily have the same concealment. I'd really love to take out that elite stealth kill, but I don't think I can climb. up behind them, so it's probably a no-go. Uh, that person's isolated in the watchtower as well, but I don't think I have line of sight and it's too distant for a good shot. Anyway, at least in this weather, which, you know what, I, as that's something I can appreciate, I, I appreciate very much being able to say in a video game. <laughs> looking up at that tower at the moment. If they're partially shielded by the... Is that their... I can't tell if that's their body or the tower. Oh, that's them thems. Okay. <coughs> Apparently that didn't count as a stealth kill for some reason. Oh yeah, right. For stealth kill XP credit, you have to be... I think you have to be in concealment yourself. I think that's a thing. Had like a bit of an arbitrary extra condition, I guess. Can we get around there? I do risk being kind of spotted a little bit. But I do have to go through there, okay. looking this way. Don't think so. Okay, now I can make it into concealment. I almost got screwed up by the auto climb there. Yourself, you miserable chop. What's that heavy weapon you're carrying? I can stealth kill elites now. Oh, I guess they don't actually have a heavy weapon. Like, not one that I can pick up. I wonder, is it possible to sabotage the... Uh, I thought I established this before, but... Be using this again. Okay, it is possible to sabotage it from range. Just don't ignite it, I guess. Can I? No, I can't whistle them down here. They'd have to commit, create a commotion. Come down. Is that person patrolling? Uh, yes. Turn around in a moment. How long do they stop? I think I might be able to close distance, but I don't want to risk it unnecessarily. Okay. Seen men try to use an Osiron weapon. Seen men with all their fingers. Never break. That's for now. Don't. Now die. <sighs> Saving these for the trail.
more rain. My boots will get damp. Let's see a quieter approach than crossing the bridge. Looks like this might work. Is that a fox? This is this fox made it out again. Come back here. Out of my way, turkey. Ah. Continuing pursuit. Oh, hello. That's why I couldn't hit you. You were all the way over here. Uh, I hit someone else, but not the fox. Ooh. Sorry, you're at. Still not what I need. Is that a... Oh, that's a pickup mark. No, right, right. No, that, that's just a mark for the camp. I thought it was an alert status for a moment. Okay, those two are going to be a little tricky to deal with. Can I get into proper concealment? Not really, no. Alright then. Something. Can you come around here, please? I'm going in. We've got intruders. <laughs> you saw nothing. Damn it. Okay, that has the attention of everyone else. in this corner really was a problem. Where did she go? How do you know it's a she? I mean you're not wrong, but Said, patience. Ah, uh, help. I didn't find squad. Yo. Come on. Time to rain down nothing. some pain. You missed. Better come closer. Get a better shot, you know? Uh, 
No, seriously, come closer. Hello, Mr. Merchant. Good to see you. Please let me have your free sample box. Right, I'll be right back with you after I process the contents of this cap. They say the corruption has spread far across the Sundom. It can't be true. Everyone's lost a cousin or friend to the machines. More in recent times. At least you don't put on airs. Been doing this. Thank you, Camp Security, for your hard work. Supplies down here, maybe? I mean, yes, but not the kind I can grab. Which is fine. Camp needs resources, too. Is there anything else I can loot that hasn't despawned yet? Ooh! A log! Text mail from Izzy Mandel. To Merc Oslo. The subject? What scares me? Merc, remember what I told you in my last message? About how scared I am? Well, I figured out what scares me, and it's not the bots. I mean, yeah, they're horrifying, but when we finally come face to face, I'll either live or die. And the starkness and the simplicity of that binary is, well, reassuring. What scares me is how much I like this, how a DW feels in my hands, the kick of a quail gun. Jesus, Merc, we lived in a squat for three years, matching mohawks, spent our days throbbing off Razorwing or Duster, nights thrashing off Slamfunk gigs, we were goddamn anarchists, and now this, this, discipline, jargon, uniforms, and I like it? That's what terrifies me, Merc, no crisp, reassuring binary here, I'm loving what I hate, or hated. So does that mean my entire life was just a pose, or that the person I was is already dead? I don't know. I try to tell myself it's a different kind of war. Survival, not profits. I try to tell myself it's just a different kind of direct action. I mean, what are the bots if not the ultimate capitalist stooges, right? But thinking just tires me out. All I know is, we've got to fight until Zero Dawn is ready. If I end up surviving this, I guess I can worry about my politics then. Love to you and little Sid, Izzy. There's a lot of background world building here that's, uh... That doesn't that, and it's it intrigues me how much there is that really doesn't tie in to the direct story. Like the the background world building is a lot more distant. Entire, sure. uh, is a lot more distant from the uh, from the direct storytelling than what I'm used to seeing, and that's that that does really intrigue me. It's interesting. I should remember to check out that ancient debris later, but I can't tag it. I think I probably grabbed everything that's going to be available to be grabbed, except for those supply crates up there. I should go check those. Uh, and let me double check. Are there bodies in those watchtowers still? Oh, 
There's a body in that watchtower. That's worth the check. How do I get up to this one? Oh, ladder. Yes, I forget ladders exist. Haven't you got anything better to do? Supplies. I think I'm full on traps. I'd have to leave something else behind. Yeah, that's okay. I won't worry too much about mass collecting. Traps. Oh, the bodies there. Okay, those bodies haven't despawned yet either. So they they aren't despawning as quickly as I feared. They're leaving. It's only the foxes. They're despawning while they're still alive. Can I make this shot with a hunter bow? At this range? Evidently not. That took a lot of shots. Nutritious. Still no good though. Sacred land. I know, right? That's why I was so surprised to see another Nora back there. I guess she must be in exile. Okay. Here. Well, let's sell things first. Resources. Uh. Sell popularity is an easy way to check things. Don't think I need more than 25 slag shine. More desert glass. More corruption glaze root. Actually, stuff that I'm actually using, now that I have a giant resource satchel, I'll hang on to it. Ah, I don't- I feel like I can't trust the cell popularity sorting entirely, so I'll go through everything. Okay, this is just selling the metal shards, same as this. And this, and this. And this. I'll let myself keep various lenses and things. I'm through to okay, chill water I'm not actively using. Uh, but I might look into getting the ability to use it, so I'll keep two stacks. Metal vessels. I use for ammunition of sorts. Uh, I don't need too many fast travel packs. 
Uh huh. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. Lots of wire is good. Sparkers, he's full. Okay. That's what I'll sell there for now. I am going to sell the basic health potions. And the health boost potions, just so it's easier to scroll through my items list and use the traps and the big health potions. Uh, modifications. Everything green, I'm gonna sell. Curse you, green modifications. You made me accidentally use a fox skin. Uh, and then I'll go through things in a bit. Okay. Let's organize gear. I want... On the sharp shot bow, I want the best... quails available. I don't actually, I think I don't actually necessarily need that much more coil, uh, that much more, uh, uh, tear on it. Okay, handling is real good for this. Ah, hey, Opal, and company, thank you very much for the raid. Really appreciate it. You caught me as I was doing inventory management, which probably shouldn't surprise anyone. Okay. I will take the extra tear, I guess. But can I get a better damage coil? Mm, the only purple available, it's good, but I don't... It, this thing doesn't do corruption damage. So I'm inclined to leave that for someone else. Then again, there's damage and handling as well. Uh, 29% damage. Oh, I could improve it, but again, this does corruption damage, and I, I'm a stickler for stuff. <laughs> I, I appreciate your mighty and fearsome raid, Bell, Lavillian, Opal, anyone else who came along. I hope uh, State of Decay went well, and not too many trucks were uh, were repaired before their prime. So I primarily use a fire tear. I could do with some damage as well. Do I have better fire coils? 37% fire. Uh, now these are the best fire coils I have. I'm concerned. Maybe I want a uh, damage coil instead of tear, but even then. Um, as well as tear, 36% tear. What's this, 39? Yeah, okay, I can just upgrade the tear quail. On my rope caster. Let's see, handling. I actually really, this is generally something I don't want damage on. Any other handling things that don't have extra? They're just handling focused? Nope. Tripcaster. Fire, shock, handling. It's fine. But I'm actually probably gonna swap out the Tripcaster and try some new weapons for a bit. So I'm actually going to pull the coils out of that. What else can I do? Uh, I could up some carry capacity, but not right now. Just clearing the unread for the bandit quest. Clearing the unread for that. Oh yeah, I have treasure boxes to open. Uh, 
I have appreciated the wire. That's handy. Oh yeah, I should check my outfit slots as well. I might have gotten something handy for them too. Okay, let's take a look. Oh, my one outfit. I don't think it strictly needs more stealth. So I'm probably going to focus on defensive resists. Although resist melee and stealth is tempting. How much is this one? Uh, uh, hang on. What's the... Get 25% shock and 5% melee. It's actually real handy. Uh, 20, so yeah, I can go up to 27 resist and then just melee and. Just fire, freeze. Bunch more stealth. I'm half tempted to go for a bunch more stealth and all in it, but probably not strictly what I want. Okay, I'll go for some shock and fire resist here, I think. As I was advised, the elemental resists are very handy. Oh yeah, that's one thing I should check as well. So I can... Uh, salvage stuff. There we go, let's check with the modification. I can disassemble it... Okay, uh, its value is 20. I, I assume that's its sale value. Disassemble it for 10. I'm just gonna verify that the sale value for that's these things is... Is uh 20 as well. Yeah, okay, so it, it's at least uh, at this difficulty, it's half of the sale value that these things sell for. Duly noted. Uh, let me just sell this antidote. That's neat, but. don't have room for that right now. It's uh, more cost effective I think to craft these than to buy them. In terms, especially in terms of metal shards. Which that's fine at the moment. Oh shoot, I'm I, right, right, I was gonna swap out the tripcaster. Well, I can still carry the ammo with me. More fox hunting equipment. Okay, now we can go shopping. Are there any, any fancier outfits? I mean, I could have an, ele an elemental defense outfit, but... It's not really, even though, even though this stuff is higher, technically higher grade than what I'm uh, operating, I might end up with a uh, with. I might still end up considering something specialized for non-stealth combat. Okay. Slim. Elemental bombs with large area of effect. The war bow looks like it covers what I'm missing specifically though. It'll give me shock, which I'll be losing a weapon to do with the with the uh tripcaster. And then give me freeze and corruption. I 
and then there's just the blast sling out, right? Which uh, which greatly entertains me. Is that a boot? It's tied into it. <laughs> Looks like a boot. And the weapon module. Okay. Um. I also kind of want to try a rattler. Oh, that is shock and chill rounds as well. Interesting. Well, for now, I'll pack the warbow, and then I guess I'll like as as a main piece of gear, potential best candidate for a main piece of gear, and then I can try the other ones with time. Okay, so that's what that does. Put it in place of the trip caster. Shock, freeze, and corruption. That's very low damage, though. Oh, it's given me all three tiers of uh, of Warbow tutorial. Well, I finally have shore damage. Tutorial is now selected. So it's Sparkers, Chill Water. And then otherwise very similar normal arrows. Ooh, whoops, wasted a little bit there. Okay, okay. Fair enough. Wants me to tutorial with shock arrows, so I'll prepare some shock arrows. Thank you, merchant. Finally. Okay, I can up the size of the quiver. I can make more ammo, but what I actually want to do is socket its mod slots. More bow. Ooh, that's freeze and shock. Sure. Just straight up freeze shock. Uh, damage isn't really worth it. Corruption tear. Probably gonna go for corruption and freeze. Oh, dang it! I, I hit the same slot, didn't I? Cool. And straight up 42% shock. Should hit reasonably hard with those statuses. Probably not as good as a trip caster, but darn sight more reliable, I'll guess. And where's the campfire? Here we go. And there was one spot of ancient debris I wanted to check. I think it was out this way. I could use some meat. Although it did take me two shots to get a stationary trout. Okay, let's dry off. Definitely awake now. Okay, I can actually make use of a lot of these resources finally. I don't see any boxes about at the moment. Oh, another fire bellow back sight. Mm. 
Now, fire bellow back don't. They're vulnerable to chill, but I wonder how effective it actually is. Given that it's from a weapon that does no damage, is or no base damage, I guess. Uh, it's chilling damage type of its own, I wonder. Can it hit at least components and impact them? I'm not certain. I guess I'll have to find out. I also need to continue heading north and continue, hopefully, finding more foxes. Well, I guess I can scout the... I could pick it from... I wonder if the merchant... Uh, if merchant stock scales to your level. As I said I was going to he actually head back to the Nora Territory and do the exploration around there. I've been delayed for a while looking for foxes. And I can look for foxes in Nora Territory, it's just a matter of whether or not the merchants there will have what I need. I guess we're going to find out. First order of business. Uh, figuring out what this is. And then figuring out what our first order of business is. Let's go. Cancels the corruption effect. Half wondering if I shouldn't reconsider my decision not to carry the element specific potions, but it's really awkward to navigate the wheel to use them. Thank you, built all this. Alone. So many memories. It's not home anymore. Not without Rost. There's nothing for me here anymore. Oh, I, I appreciate that. This is the home, isn't it? Oh, dang. Okay, well, I'm gonna check in here then. Okay. <laughs> well played, Belle. Well played. This is gonna be a moment. Hi, Rost. I'll, uh, I'll just take this off. Don't want him listening in. Rost, I'm... I'm, so, I'm sorry I, I didn't come sooner. When you said goodbye, I told you I'd find you. Track you down. Well, looks like you did it after all. Went somewhere I can't follow. I should have known you'd be watching. At the Proving. Looking out for me. There for me when no one else was. Like always. One last time. Thank you, Rost. I won't waste. What you've given me. I promise. I'll make you proud. I found Olin. Made him tell me everything. Which was a lot. The killers are... some kind of cult. The Eclipse. Their leader. Helis. He's the one. Who killed you. The one you... Stopped from killing me. Um, Olin said they worship some kind of devil named Hades. A buried shadow, whatever that means. They're raising 
Ancient machines from the ground. Corruptors. And that's gotta stop. Huh. So I guess you can check in here with how far you've progressed in the story. Feed things in. Interesting. Also, are you alright, Bell and Opal? Are you two alright there? <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna guess you probably are. So, I went there and... Well, the woman's name is Elizabeth Sobeck. Whatever sort of name that is. I need to explore the ruins. Maybe it'll all make sense when I know more. As for Olin, I... I spared him. I know he deserved to die. His hand was forced. After I, I saved his family. Innocents who got dragged into this. Like me. And you. It's gonna be the same dialogue. So, I went there and. Well, I need to express after. Okay, it is the same dialogue. Well, I. I should be on my way to Maker's End. Until next time. That was a moment. And I'm, I'm glad you're both doing okay there. Okay. So I've checked in with Ross there. There's a metal flower I should look for there. At the campsite nearby. I'm just gonna check in at the campsite uh, briefly and uh, log that conversation, I guess. Oh, um, I think he built all this alone. So many memories. It's not home anymore. Not without Rost. There's nothing for me here anymore. We're just passing through it, Eloy. I think I have to go around. Can I get over this? No, I can't. Yeah, are you a fox? Yes, you are. Stealth approach, go. Scrabbling a bit. in its way. What's it say? Evening wind. Water laps. The heron's legs. I, I, I actually really appreciate the, the stylized poetry there. Do I have the thing where I can use my bow on these? No, I don't. Okay. Um, right, what's the best way down then? Huh? 
Ooh. That was a moment. Okay, can I get down from here? Uh, it's not the safest trek, but I think I should be able to slide down this gap. And there's a bit of a trail here. Let me see, hopefully it gives me a ledge drop prompt. Hmm. I get the feeling this may not be a supported route. Thank you, Extreme. Okay, slidey slide. Let's go ahead and mark that campfire. First, didn't I, I've run into the scrapper site over here before, but first I don't have the campfire. Right, let's actually try and find a road down this. Time. It's gonna let me ledge drop. And I guess that's a no. Gonna try and find a road, because after all, I am gonna have to come back up. Okay, this trail heads down below, I think. Might regret this. Not since Aloy. When when have I ever regretted anything? I I I I've pushed buttons to make you do. Never never a single regret. I'm sure. A fox? Is that a fox? No, that's a rabbit. Okay, less interesting than a fox. Ow! That was a rock. Wood. I should can probably ease up on picking that up now. That I'm no longer critically low on ammunition. Yeah, I remember a quest taking me for the year before. I guess I took the left side of the river and the campsite was on the right when I was doing the quest. That would be my guess. Anyway, keep an eye out for pickups. Fire discovery. It's down there. Destroyed watcher. Hmm. Was this part of the tutorial? I wonder. Because the layout seems vaguely familiar. Although I'm a lot better equipped to handle it now. In this case, extreme was just a shortcut. Right, I've already been to that scrapper site. But let's go say hi anyway. I might be able to uh, do the quest where the tutorial quest would engage enemies with corruption arrows. Enrage enemies with corruption arrows. So I believe scrappers have fire explodies, uh, blaze canisters on them, which I don't have that specific element of quest for. Alright, in engagement range. Let's go for... Ideally I'll engage, I pick ones that are 
close to each other. One. Handy stuff! I might find corrupt arrows more useful than I expected. Now what's this purple marker here? Duplicate something. Ooh, oh, there's three here I didn't search. Or, uh, oh wow, that is, that is real neat. It's a 40% damage coil. Let's see if I can... Uh... Okay, as much as I love the handling on this... Dang, that's 40% damage coil. Ah, oh, but it has elemental stuff tied to it. And I... Uh, I don't want to commit it to this resource. Hmm. Still... Good find. We're apart. There's a there's a fox. There's a fox. It almost got away. In fact, it's still getting away. Come back here. Okay. Still no good. But, good finds here. Where else do I need to check that I haven't explored before? Uh, there's a vantage point here. Apparently on some machine sites I haven't managed to blunder into. So fast travel it is. I don't know that I've actually ever done a single vantage point before. So I, I don't know what, uh, mechanically they are, if anything. I probably needed the wash. I'm guessing they're a decorative vista of sorts. a marker. Come on. Advantage. Another message from the past. Oh. This is a air combat academy. to come all the way up here. <laughs> uh, the well, 
that's quite a few supply boxes. That was more useful than I expected it to be. So, neat. Okay, I, we didn't catch the attention of the grazers down there. Oh, caught the attention of one of them. <laughs> able to make it into concealment soon. Maybe I should ignite these if I want their blaze canisters. Hang on, I heard a fox. Yeah, the, the, the Vantage was uh, a lot more lore and background and resource than I expected. That's neat. Very neat stuff. Now let's see if I can track down that fox. such luck. Well then, what can I look into elsewhere here? I should probably go and look at whatever... Yeah, let's, let's go look at the hunting grounds there. Eventually, I'll be able to tell medicinal herbs apart from, uh, apart from fire kiln. One day, one day. Tasty. There was one other that I keep keep getting medicinal herbs mixed up with. Recall which exactly for later. Are you not going to come over here? Is it the edge of your roaming range or something? No, no, you're coming. Those look like scrappers, yep. One scrapper. Palm scanners, don't see anything else so far. Can I approach through these bushes and do they provide any concealment? Okay, no and no. I mean, I guess they act as a solid wall. Well, in that case, I can probably come up behind you. Which hill are you talking about, Extreme?
Ah, the whistle. Yeah, usually the whistle counts as a uh, as an investigate this point though. It's not usually tied to your location, so that's why I was surprised when it lost when it when it cancelled the investigate order. Okay, razors. Not interested in them at the moment. Leave them to their business. Yeah, the the, the whistle is in a. Yeah, to, to clarify the whistle, it's, it's apparently supposed to be a specific uh, machine core mimic, although it works on humans as well. Uh, it's supposed to uh, it's supposed to prompt them to come investigate a point. It's not tied to, as far as I'm aware at least, it's not tied to any entity. But anyway, it worked out. Came through the second time. Fox! No, raccoon. Do raccoons really make that noise? I've never, never met a raccoon in real life. Oh, you're a fox! Come here! Come here! I'm gonna blunder into something chasing this fox, but come here! Oh, that's huge. Don't know what exactly you are, but you are huge. Okay, got the fox. Ooh, that's another fox. Fox bones, but still not the bit I need. Might even have to end up going back to the specialist traders in Meridian for this stuff. Yeah, I get you, Extreme. I get you. Hup. Okay, let's clear this quickly. I'm ready. Gotta be. from the fox. As Navillian quite succinctly put it, even in death, the fox wins. <laughs> but at least I'm getting plenty of medicine. Turkey is not, in fact, a fox. As far as I'm aware, I could be wrong. I'm not exactly a good. You can use this taxonomical expert. To the best of my knowledge, a turkey is not a fox. So this hunting trail is a. Uh, there we go. Remove canisters from grazers. Kill machines using the log pile traps in the area. And kill 
grazes using glass wires. I hopefully it doesn't have to be specifically the card or trip caster. Okay, so I should leave these grazes be then and actually go do go ish found find the groundskeeper for the trial. Maybe they'll be a little more relatable and not if they're not uh not racist and misogynist in one bundle. <laughs> Oh, there's a merchant here too. Well, let's log the save here. Let's sell stuff. Not specifically for sale. Uh, here we go. Don't think there's anything here that I'm not that's not in some way using at any anymore. Uh, we can sell the more common modifications. Let's make some room. Where's the groundskeeper? You're on this side. That's the groundskeeper. Are you the groundskeeper? I don't think you're the groundskeeper. Probably not the groundskeeper. I guess they do indeed sound a little... Uh... I'm gonna say bovine, but that's the wrong word. Extreme. Oh, you're the groundskeeper. You were so stealthy I walked past right you. Walk this right is a past you. Grounds, right? What do Words. you do here exactly? Hmm. You bear the mark of a seeker. I've heard of those, but never seen one. You have the matriarch's leave to come and go as you like from the sacred land. Yes, but I would have gone even without their permission. Is that so? Then maybe you and I can speak plainly. Truth is, I've had dealings with the Karja. I represent an organization called the Hunter's Lodge in Meridian. We test promising young hunters with trials at places like these. You might be just the kind of person we're looking for. Why don't you sample the trials and see? Just to be clear, though, I'd appreciate it if you kept our conversation in confidence, especially when it comes to the matriarchs. Fair enough, buddy. You're not supposed to be here, are you? No. My friend and I left the sacred land and returned. The matriarchs wouldn't approve, to say the least. We're hunters at heart. Left because we wanted to find new herds and new machines. That's why the Hunter's Lodge appealed to us. But the Karja wouldn't have us if they knew we were Nora, so we wore Karja clothes when we brought our marks to them. After a while, it felt like we were caught between worlds. Not quite Karja, not quite Nora. We started to miss home. So we came back and set up our own hunting grounds. You think it'll work? Staying here without the Matriarch's permission? I'm not sure. But we don't believe in their rules. There's a big world out there, and ignoring it doesn't help anyone. Tell me about the trials. The Hunter's Lodge hosts hunting ground trials throughout the world, each offering hunters a chance to test their skills. What do I get for completing them? Pride and accomplishment, as well as marks, depending on how well you fare. Here, we offer the tools trials. What kind of tools? Hunting isn't just about your bow. It's about using everything available to you, even your surroundings. You'll see once you start taking the trials. What is the Hunter's Lodge? It's a group of hunters who compete to bring down the mightiest machines in the land, run by the Karja in Meridian. You can see it yourself if you win three half-sons from the hunting grounds. Just to warn you, though, they're not fond of Nora. 
I have been pondering your question, Avilian, through this whole conversation, and I am pleased to announce that I do not have an answer. Pick one of these trials and I'll explain it. Test your skill with bow and arrow by shooting parts off the backs of grazers as quickly as possible. Okay. That's a good one. Timing begins once you slide down a rope. Ooh, level 37. That might actually be help. No, no, I need three points for the thing I'm going for. Never mind. Okay. Grazer. 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 Watcher. Graze. Okay. Untag the Watcher. That should be enough grazers to do this. Hard point arrows. And, uh. Wait, why am I not rotating? Hard point arrows and tear blast arrows, stand by. Let's do this! I. Ow! That wasn't sliding, but okay. That was terrible. Uh, not quite what I was uh, aiming for in terms of efficiency, but it worked. No! Wrong button. At least got rid of the watches. <laughs> I appreciate the background dialogue of the NPC at least. But dang, I missed so many tear blast arrows there. I mean, I also started by falling off a cliff, so. And I still ace the trial! I have to say. Maybe, maybe the, maybe the, uh, the unconventional tactics were, were perfectly calculated all along. What's the quickest way up here? Oh, here we go. you first time and you win a blazing sun you're good even for Nora use your blast wire and Karja trip caster to bring down grazers I'll be timing you explosions scare them so you may want to use your blast sling to drive them into your traps perfect I'll start timing when you start down a rope Right, let me put my trip caster back on. I wonder, can I start... Okay, it's it's respawned a bunch of grazers for this, I believe. Can I put the trap... I myself in these trials. I should do it fair and square. <laughs> okay, Aloy's objecting to me, uh... To me, attempting to put down the the, the trip from up here. Fair enough. This is it. 
this was the wrong tripwire type. Once again, going great. I also got caught in my own fire. Get back here! Back here! Going great. Dang it. I mean, I could chase them into some of the tripwires I've set originally. How about that? Keep running around in a large circle. Keep going that way, yep. Keep at it. Hopefully it hasn't despawned my tripwires. Hi! Hi, I'm very scary. Okay. I'm great at this. We are clipping the wall above. Salvage some parts at least. These aren't cheap. That would have gone a lot smoother if I was using the required tool at the start instead of fire trip wires. But hey, are there any wires I could recover? Uh, I don't think there are any left. Was that a fox? Raccoon. Raccoon. Fox! Fox! Gotcha! Still no good though. Precious if it had what I needed, it would be a blue icon. Another one! Shoot, I meleeed by accident. Where do you go? Oh, you must shoot me. You know, I should check if that merchant ha has the uh, same parts. Okay, we'll be able to figure out if they level scale. L let's actually get this turned in. Stocking up. Oh yeah, I stepped in my own fire a bit at the start of the this trail as well. I'm now now we'll, we'll see if, if it how how the uh, the log trap trail goes. Given I'm even uh 
I, I, that one I, was what I wasn't confident in. Me. How'd you... First time, and you win a blazing sun. You're good, even for Nora. You have everything you need to enter the Hunter's Lodge. Good luck in Meridian. Of course, you can still run more trials with me. This trial tests your ability to use the environment to your advantage. Shoot log piles to make them fall, crushing machines below. Remember, you can use explosions from your blast sling to scare machines into fleeing where you want them to go. I like that one. Slide down a rope and I'll start timing. Okay. Getting soaked from melted snow. I think that's a log pile trap over there. I'll have no idea. Uh, I don't see any others, so I'll just kind of have to go for it, probably. Well, at the very least, that's not a. This should scare a few of them. More than quick to take you on. Okay, I don't know how to operate that trap. Definitely don't know how to operate that trap. That one was not successful. Oh wait, hang on, that was one of them. They're all running the other way. Keep running. Can I get you to run calm, calm. towards the traps? And where does this go? Are there any traps around here? Not where I need them to be. Okay, let's keep going this way then. There's a trap ahead, but I don't know if I'll get light of sight in time. Oh, that was a complete miss. Don't stick around, otherwise we're gonna have a problem. I think there was only that wasn't a uh, that wasn't fully qualifying. Just stay out of their way for now. Which means I'll have to give it another run. But at least we might get different dialogue. There was a half sun. If I understand the icons correctly. You won a full sun on your first try. Improve on your time, and you could win the blazing sun. Okay, full. It's half sun, then full sun, then blazing. Okay. This trial tests your ability to use the environment to your advantage. Shoot log piles to make them fall, crushing machines below. Remember, you can use explosions from your blast sling to scare machines into fleeing where you want them to go. At some point, I should pick up a blast Can't wait sling. wait to see what you do with that. Ready when you are. Well, that dialogue varies up. Using 
bonus to make sure I do enough damage to the log traps. Trying a different strategy. And that's a little more me. Okay, no, I can only scale, I can only lure one at a time, really. You're not gonna be the one. Okay, let's go loud then. Dang, that's a miss. Dang, dang, dang. It's not good enough. I don't like these log pile traps, they're not very effective. Dang it. Have I, I think I've triggered every, no I haven't quite. Okay, where are the watches? <laughs> Tell me your watches. Get over here. Are they really? <laughs> Gonna need some more work. Be fascinating if they weren't looking for me. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Apparently, I'm quite stealthy. Okay, so your luring doesn't work. I don't have a blast sling to generate an explosion to scare them, so I'll probably just have to generate the explosion uh, the old-fashioned way. Yes! I finally found someone who could earn this full sum. This trial tests your ability to use the environment to your advantage. Okay, okay. Hope you enjoy it. I'll start timing when you slide down one of the ropes. Scatter them. They all go that way by default. No, come on. That's 
not what I needed. Here they come. The locked pile traps are not very good at killing things. Hi. Move, please. Oh, that. That works too. Kind of. Except not. Dang it, can't see the trap from this angle. Dang, dang, dang. Did that trap really just not reach? Okay. Just got it mostly via by virtue of sheer luck. I'll take what I can get. Let me search the there we go. Can stop tensing up. Blazing sun marks are rare. Well done, and well earned. Well, that's this trial done. What is the Hunter's Lodge? It's a group of hunters who compete to bring down okay. the mightiest machines in the land. You've already it's the same dialogue, even though it wasn't was highlighted. There I should go. go. Come back when you're ready. Actually, hang on a moment. I think it was different dialogue. I just the first line was the same. Looking forward to another run, are you? Here we go. What is the Hunter's Lodge? It's a group of hunters who compete to bring down the mightiest machines in the land, run by the Karja in Meridian. You've already won three half sons, so you're eligible to join. Just to warn you, though, they're not fond of Nora. Okay, so that was I the updated dialogue. I'll be here if you decide to come back. Well, qualified for that at least. Let's open some of these boxes. There we go. Got two skill points. I need more though. Oh, there's extra text in this uh, in this entry that I did that wasn't in the in the audio. Okay, hi Ma, you brought me here once to see Baba teach. I didn't know it at the time, but the class was like something out of the 20th century. He stood behind a lectern in a real space lecture hall, raising his unamplified voice to be heard by flesh and blood cadets seated in plastic chairs. This being 45 or 46, our air forces must have already been 60. To 70% automated, but the academy was still old school. Literally. I suppose the quaintness of the setting fit the subject he was teaching. The age of human air power, 1909 to question marks. The cadets probably thought the question marks were wishful thinking, or willful ignorance. From their perspective, the era of the human pilot was already over, but not for Baba. I can still see the medals he kept in that drawer in the bedroom, the inscriptions in Sanskrit. Touch the sky with glory, you said one meant. 
Even as a Commodore in the IAF, he'd kept flying. He still remembered what it was like to sit in a cockpit with his hand on the stick and his finger on the trigger. And that's how he died, June 5th, 2048. At the funeral, some metallurgic international rep said we should be proud he died defending free markets. Even then, I knew that was a lie. He died defending Metallurgic International's claim on a tantalum mine. That's what he died for. And why stop the truth-telling there? Really, he died because Airmint wasn't yet rich enough to afford a fully automated fleet, because it wasn't cost-effective to upgrade a military surplus razor wing with improved electronics warfare gear. He died because human combat pilots were just as obsolete as the crates they put them in, and just as expendable. When he spiraled into the jungle, our family crashed with him. For weeks, he couldn't get out of bed, and then he, and then came the hospital, me staying with neighbors, even after he recovered. Even when he said all the right things and promised we'd be okay, I didn't believe it. Something had broken between us. I felt like an orphan, and nothing seemed to matter anymore. It was how I lived for the next seven years, till it almost killed me. This is... A This is uh, that. That's a uh, interesting stuff. Hmm. Uh, uh The Nora are the name of uh, of uh, Aloy's people. Very loosely, I believe, based on uh, Native American traditions, and strongly disliked by uh, by other. A little around here. Oh, I forgot to get the free sample box. Yeah, but and and very much disliked by the other civilizations around. Partly because, uh, uh, with at least one of the other civilizations, the Kaja, the people who especially dislike them, invaded the Nora and kidnapped and murdered a bunch of their people, and so they were at war previously. Therefore, the Kaja dislike them. The, the Nora. But also Aloy herself doesn't have much fondness for the Nora, given uh, uh, she was an outcast and treated exceptionally poorly by most of the Nora. Okay, we can sell the green modifications. And I won't manage too much more inventory while I'm here. Most of the animosity at this at this point, Navillian, is because they were at war. The Kaja were, the Kaja invaded the Nora and declared war on them, and therefore, and and then decided most of the Kaja's people on that basis um, dislike the Nora. There are other reasons, but I believe that to be the primary one. Let's go find this flower. I mean, there are there are issues with the uh, there there are uh, I you know there are points I potentially take issue with in the depiction. Uh, not that I'm especially feeling like going into that right now, but uh, I mean it, it, it's got uh, it's got at least one thing right. I mean it's it's based on a uh, uh, it, it's loosely based on Native American culture. So what what would you expect? But blatant murderous racism from. Can't be too prepared the neighboring colonial powers. Right, that's a good point to ford the river. Probably up here. And there's even a, a little mark a little trail marker and everything. I think that's a trail marker. It might just be like a hunting lodge marker. Hunting grounds marker. <laughs> so it's one felled watcher here. I have three sons. Now they'll let me inside the hunter's lodge. Well, let's see how that turns out. Duly noted. Is that something I should be aware of? 
hunting grounds. I, I, I guess that's just a, gen a general remark on the issue from Aloy. I don't, I, I don't think it's tied to the location. <laughs> Hi, Extreme. Let's, uh, currently, I, uh, I am uh, attempting to find a mysterious metal flower that has pe poetry on it. But I, I'm guessing that's not what your question's about. What's up? Skill point. Excellent. I can allocate the increased concentration time. Faster reload. And double shot. It's all solid stuff. But now I'm probably going to work on my stealth stuff. I was working up to strong strike before and got diverted by various yes, important ready. utility things. So. Back on track. <laughs> yeah, we were talking about uh, Navillian uh, uh, didn't quite follow who the Nora were, and the, and the, the Nora are a, a, a fictional culture in this game, loosely based off Native American culture. Never know Hence, where I might need these. Uh, racism. It's a lot of racism is depicted in universe as well regard to how the Nora are treated. There's the flower. Hello. Another Mark one. Oop. Metal flowers. Huh. Well, why not? Mark one C B and C I have. Lightning flash. What I thought were faces. Up plumes of pompous grass. Okay. Still not a full set. I believe I need a full set to trade them in, but it's neat stuff. Let's so continue the exploration. I probably won't be able to clear everything I wanted to find in the in Nora territory. In a. Uh, One go today. Oh, that's a town I'm not I'm not aware of. Interesting. Well, let's go try and find this mysterious ancient vessel. Which we are unsure as to the purpose of. Also, I should make some potions. I I've done enough hunting that I can actually afford to make some. Uh, we'll go down to thirty of one meat. At least, yeah, that'll do. Turkey. Okay, let's keep going. Minimize the amount of ridge wood I'm grabbing. That's fire kill, not medicine. That's medicine. Is this medicine? Yes. Is that? That's fire kill, right? No, it's medicine. See, I can't tell the... <laughs> I have enough Ridgewood for the moment. Um, I think I can ascend this cliff. Up and over. Thank you, Aloy, for your mighty athletic talents. And what is this? Oh, this is the bunker. Right, there's a... That's another thing I was thinking about doing. Let me actually fire that up, because I th thought I would have to go onwards a little bit and find a, uh, a, uh, find a thing, find a second power cell, like I have a, but I still, like, I, I assumed I'd naturally, like, that might be something I'd have to get from enemies when actually <laughs> salvage, but no, I still only have one power cell, meaning the power cell I'm looking for, I'm gonna regret this jump. 
power cell I'm looking for must be somewhere here and I'm just missing it. So you find a power cell outside and that points you to this bunker as a quest. Also, this is where I found my first metal flower. Which is very cool. But I don't know where to... I couldn't figure out where the power cell was in here. Well, I'm a bit more familiar with the game now. Let's give it another shot. Doo -doo -doo, doo -doo. Not a pickup. That's a timer of some sort. Hey, Navillion. I'm just coming back to a an old quest I had that needed me to find two power cells. Uh, I assumed at that time that I, the reason I couldn't find the second power cell was probably because I just needed to to progress in the story, fight more enemies, that kind of thing, and it might be something that dropped, but... Uh, no, it seems the power cells are quest specific, so now I'm back here trying to figure out where the second power cell is. I came in through here... This quest gets given to you when you find a power cell sitting out in the wild. Maybe I need to find it. Maybe maybe I do need to find another power cell, but it's closer than I realize. But maybe it's not in the bunker, but just somewhere in the surrounding territory. Let's go look at I suppose. Is there anything in here that gives it away? Like, why does this pocket exist, I wonder? It doesn't seem to have any significance. Let me just check my inventory. Special items. Uh... Wait, is it not in special items? Why does it... does it actually show up as a tracked item, come to think of it? It might not. Okay, maybe it doesn't, but... I need to find a second power cell. And that... Mystery continues to elude me. Was it somewhere on the approach that I missed? As far as I'm aware, this quest has no other map markers. Uh, well, let's look at the floors. Yes, yeah, okay, surface map. That's just local stuff that I've marked that I want to check out as well. But yeah, it also doesn't help that I didn't rem I don't remember where I first got the power cell. In fact, I may not have get I may not have ac accurately registered it even when I got the first power cell in the first in the first place. So I mean, this is where I found my first metal flower, but I don't see any other containers or anything else of significance here. Uh is that climbable? I mean, I know that other side is climbable out of here, but there are climb markers on this wall here. I think. Or do they just look like climb markers from an angle? Yeah, okay. I'm probably seeing things. No. Okay. They look like climb markers, but that's it's wall coloration. Got it. 
I, I, at, at the time, I wasn't familiar with resources and what they, what they, uh, what they were ex as extreme. So I would have picked up the power cell and I, I assumed it was just a, uh, like it was a resource drop of some sort. And then, uh, but a quest came out of it and asked me to find a second one. When I couldn't find the second one at the quest marker, I figured then that uh, it, it like the quest was probably gated on me finding a second resource drop, but it doesn't seem to have been the case. So, on where do we go for now? Hello, Striders, Watcher, Turkey. You are uh, become friend. Right, let's go investigate this mysterious ancient vessel that clearly could not have been used for just drinking out of because it is it's too ancient mysterious. Okay, good, you're tall enough to get across here. Trappers. Oh, I think I remember why I didn't, uh... Come here before, I wasn't ready to engage these. Okay, off again. Ow. One down. that attack. Hit armor and nice one, friend. All finished. Oop. Now let's investigate the site. Actually, I should make ammo first. There we go. Fox. Where'd the fox go? Oh shoot, that's a sawtooth. I, 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 I caught. You almost got me, you crafty fox. Leading me into a sawtooth. Interesting ancient debris. Where would I hide? Ooh, that came up as a tag for a moment. What's going on over here? I got tag. I mean, there's freeze rhyme, but that's not. There are two sawtooth units here, I believe. I think I can pick off the grazer without antagonizing the sword here. Again. Well, I mean, I set one of them on fire. Try it. Oh wait, no, I set another grazer on fire. Let's see if I can figure out what got tagged back here again. 
again. I really can't. There is a small subset of things you can actually mount, and you cannot mount sorty. Believe me, I have tried. But yeah, I can actually. O I do have the overrides for them, which means I can confirm you can't mount them, even if they're friendly. They are quite potent allies to have, however. Okay, what's happening to my mount? Get over here. Oh, that's not my mount. That's, that must be the grazer that was damaged earlier. I see. I'll leave the grazer to its business. I'm looking for a t uh, Hi, hi, yes, you're here. Thank you. Thank you, I appreciate it. Sorry, I bugged. Okay, fine. Let's search on the str <laughs> On the strider. since they're clearly feeling left out. There are actually some override some perks related to override things, and that was what I was hoping to hoping to do at first. But unfortunately, uh, unfortunately that that style of play is not really intended to be like it's it's not intended to be a primary style of play. The game doesn't really support it, so... Oh, some people are fighting... some watches. Uh... I'll probably leave them. Oh, that's ancient debris. I should check that at some point, but it's not what I'm looking for now. Or is it? Cross the river. Let's go. Yeah! And maybe we'll help these Nora out. <laughs> yep. Okay. Strider can't climb this. I mean, even I can barely climb it. Let me quickly check this, uh... Debris. There we go. And now... Hello, you're welcome. Look at this. Handy stuff.
Right, back to the area I was searching then. Going down fast. Well, nothing comes up. Hmm. Let's scan this except something when I aligned here earlier, but I don't know that it was anything of significance, and I've not been able to get it to pop up since, so that might be a red herring. I'll go walk closer to the marker I'm looking at. It's a scrapper. Okay. So, I'm getting something here. That's a fox trying to lure me into the nearby watches. Trout in the river. What's that? Ancient debris. Okay, that's that might be what I'm looking for. How far out is it though? It's all across the river. It's quite distant from the marker. I don't know if it's within within relevance range, but it could still be useful. I mean it's highlighted in purple, so it's almost certainly something good, but let's check. Ooh, there we go, it was the ancient vessel. A cracked and battered vessel, once dear to the old ones, seems to show the terrain of the Gatelands. Sets of ancient vessels can be traded in Meridian for valuable rewards. <laughs> yeah. The spe specific mechanics I'm, I'm thinking of are uh, extreme or the mechanical interactions. Or, there are points that let you, uh, I've already invested the points that let you make your mounts, uh, make, make your overrides permanent. That's pretty significant. That's uh, when I override something it's not just temporary. And there's other stuff that lets you actually, uh, actually, uh, uh use metal shards to repair friendly machines and keep them up. The thing is, there's no way to get friendly machines to follow you, or, or, or um, if, uh, aside from mounts, there's no way to really uh, coax or corral them in any way, and, and uh, kills by allies don't give you experience. So, they're actually suboptimal. So that, that's all pretty unfortunate for my initial hopes of playing a, a friend of robot. Ah, dang. Need to draw. Need to draw longer. Well, that works at least. So, no sign of the power cell, but I did get the thing I was looking for in this area. And I think there are more side quests to pick up. So I might go look at the nearby settlement, and that's probably a good stopping point for today. I mean, I'm gonna search the scrapper and stuff first. Uh, ooh, fox. 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 Ooh, is that it? Yes, that is the fox skin I needed. I only got one, which is unfortunate, because I need it for other things, but that is the fox skin I needed. There is also a campfire near here. Which might be handy. Let me just take out this grazer and collect the blaze canisters. Go all four. And I guess I should go look at this this nearby settlement that I have not discovered.
Ride will be here eventually. Another fox. Oh, that's not as important now. Where is our ride? Oh, there it is. Hi. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this is the road. Run you over, sorry. My ride's just a little enthusiastic. There's kind of an auto follow road setting, it can be quite useful for these rides, but. I guess it's not super consistent. Anyway, let's see what's up here. We've got a merchant and side quests. Ah, this is Mother's Rise, I see. Remember, I beg you. Let's talk. You're Aloy, aren't you? Everyone's talking about your victory at Devil's Grief. I, I feel blessed to stand in your presence. There's no need to fuss over me. Who are you praying for? My, my sister, Nicola. She went north to find a Karja officer called Zaid, one of the captains of the Red Raids. I'm worried about her. Did the Matriarchs really give Nicola permission to leave? No. They refused her, but nothing could stop her from going after Zaid. He... He murdered our father during the Red Raids. Nikoa saw it happen. Hid in the cellar and forced herself to watch. It changed her. You could have gone with her. Leave the sacred land and be purged from all mother's eternal memory? No. I begged Nikoa to stay so she could avoid that fate. She said she didn't care. I don't know. Will she really be cursed for avenging our father? It seems... cruel. I lived in the Embrace during the Red Raids. What was it like out here? <laughs> For ten years, the Karja attacked without warning. Devils like Zaid butchered braves and kidnapped civilians for blood sacrifice. It all ended when the mad Sun King died. The matriarchs say his son wants to set things right. But that wasn't enough for Nikoa. I'll keep an eye out for her. Oh, Mother, bless you. I know the matriarchs won't let her return to the Sacred Lands, but... I just need to know that she's alright. She must have passed through Mother's Crown. My Aunt Salai lives there. They might have spoken. Maybe she can tell you more. Okay. All Mother. Uh, let me just take a look at where that is on the map. Okay, it, it wants me to go to, to check in at Mother's Crown first, which is fair enough. Fair enough. What territory is out there? I've been to Devil's Grief Heaven, I guess I have. It'll be daybreak soon. 
I kneel before you, low and humble. Let's check this quest as well. Oh, you look like you need help. That brave. Sounds like he's suffering. Yes. It's only a matter of time before he passes on. I've seen people die before, but never in such pain. I want to be strong like you, but... Nothing I do comforts him. I don't even have any dream willow to ease his pain. There should be some in stashes along brave trails to the east, but... I must keep vigil for this man. I don't suppose you could check the stashes? Even a little dream willow would ease his pain. Alright, drugs. I'm on it. Oh, I should do the dialogue first. You said that you, um, wanted to be strong, like me. I take it you know who I am? I do. I know a lot of people didn't want you in the Proving. But if you hadn't been there, everyone would have died. Shows how much we know. The very person we needed was someone the tribe never wanted. I wish I could borrow some of your courage now. For him. You don't need to borrow what you already have. I hope you're right. How did the man you're caring for get hurt? He was one of the war party. Wounded in battle down the ridge there. He was too weak to be carried back to Mother's heart. So they brought him here. I'm supposed to comfort him, but all I can do is whisper. Tell him to think of his mother's smile. You're young for a healer, aren't you? Yes. I'm still learning the basics. But all the true healers are busy in Mother's heart. Besides, this brave is beyond healing. What he needs is someone to stay with him. And that, I can do. Could you see the ambush from here? I heard it. Explosions and screams and... and howls of machines like monsters. That's what he keeps groaning and muttering about. Machines like nightmares ripping everyone to shreds. If only I could calm him. Help him forget all that and go to All Mother in peace. Tell me what you need again. Dream Willow. An oil made from the bark of water willows. That brings sleep and numbs pain. My supply is gone, but hunters keep it in stashes along brave trails. Out of reach of beasts and machines. There should be some left in the stashes along trails to the east. Right, drugs. I'm on it. I'll check the stashes for Dream Willow if I get a chance. You will? Thank you. My only wish is to ease this poor man's suffering. Right. Those will be the side quests to tackle next time around. For now, it's my last act for today. Inventory management. Ooh, free sample box, please. Thank you. Let me open these boxes. Um, yeah, I have that new. I'm aware of the new quests. Let's go ahead and sell this machine core. Um, there we go, these ancient chimes, echo shells I use now, these are just for sale as well. Good amount of blaze, I appreciate that, generally. Most of these I use now. I marked stuff for sale, but didn't actually sell it. Let me try that again. Uh, better. 
modifications. Sell the little rarity stuff. In fact, I don't really even equip blues anymore, so... I'm going to sell everything but the purples. That should simplify my quail decisions as well. I mean, there are some blues I still like, so this isn't the... Uh, perfectly optimal decision, but it, it is cleaner, it'll make my decision making a bit easier. I can sell that potion. There we go. Now... Resources. I don't think... Yeah, okay, so... The, um... The inventory doesn't really uh, scale with uh, with your kit. With the, with with the level, it is based on the region, so that's good to know. I'll go ahead and pick up the shadow sling. Whoop! I didn't mean to actually equip it. Ah, uh, weapons. What did I unequip by accident? The roadcaster. Okay, put the roadcaster back in. What I could all do is put the roadcaster on four. And then the other non contingency things on three. And I think that's good. Go ahead, punch in the save here. And that is where I will leave you folks for today. Thank you very much for watching, folks. Really appreciate it. Hope you had a good time. I do enjoy this game. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to be streaming again in a couple days. It's uh, my weekend, but I should be back. Provided no unexpected things happen. Uh, some timings might clash, but I can't strictly promise it. But I should be back on Wednesday, and then on Wednesday and Thursday at 0400 UTC, uh, I'll be doing, uh, be continuing my Vampire Coast Pirate Shenanigans playthrough in Total War Warhammer 2 with Jason. We're both playing Vampire Coast, sailing the arbitrary number of C's and getting in probably way too much trouble and hopefully getting booty maybe even some rum so if that sounds like your kind of thing do come by aside from that you can see my stream schedule down below follow me at dubious physics on twitter follow me right here if you wanna all that good stuff whatever floats your boat Apparently something's being shot in the background here. So, yeah. Okay. That's it for today. Thanks again, folks. Do remember to take care of yourselves. You're absolutely worth it, and I hope to see you in the future. This is Dubious Physics, signing off.
Look at some.